wake up in the morning in this great blue state. Golden fingers caress my face. Slips through the window on a silky breeze. A dreamer's life to plant some seeds. All my doubts, a lighted mirror reflecting out every true potential. A bedrock belief in a library plot to set this bird free. Every element of faith, every color that's attached, she paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ancient men. Just as fleeting as a breeze, she paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea. I will lay in the sunset, walk out in June, the body sings, and I join the tune. All the sirens calling. Welcome back everyone, Mike here. I took the day off of work today to stay home and do some work. And I started off this morning finishing sawing up this walnut log. This stuff is just beautiful. Let me give you a closer look. So that right there, that's some of the stuff we uh, sawed the other night out of that one log. And this is the rest of it here. Now we're getting close to the center on some of this, but man, it is really, really pretty stuff. Really nice wood. Like I said the other day, I wish we had more of this walnut, but I'm still a big fan of cherry as well. Uh, but walnut, man, that is nice stuff. It saws really nice, too. Works great. So next on the agenda, I need to uh, stack and sticker the rest of that lumber. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, bring the excavator down. I've got a big hole over here that I need to backfill and kind of start grading this area up in here. Uh, I mentioned before... You know, I use this as a borrow pit. I have huge holes dug all through here. Like here, I had holes eight, nine feet deep. I backfilled it all, compacted it. And when this is all done, what I'd like to be able to do is to be able to mow this bank and also have a little bit more room down here, which is kind of tough because the more you lay it back flatter, the further out it's going to come towards the road. But I'm going to try to find that line there where I can hit it with a mower, yet still get maybe another 10 feet of room right here. I was also thinking, I just kind of create more work for myself sometimes. I do, but I enjoy it also. What's it matter, right? I was also thinking, taking some of this material here and bailing it over there across the road and just make a level spot right over in there because I have a whole big pile of topsoil up there where the new building goes. And it'd be nice to haul, I don't know, five or ten loads down in a dump trailer and just kind of stockpile it over there. Pile it all up, and then when I need topsoil, that will be my spot right there. But I'd like to level it up, one, for uh, dumping with the dump trailer, and two, you know, when you're coming back to get it later with the uh, tractor or whatever, nice level approach to it. Now I have a ditch right here, so it'd have to be on the other side of that. There's not a whole lot of room over there, but I think I could get some, uh, I could definitely get some loads in there. We'll see how it goes. I'll put this on the list, uh, 
the to-do list as well. Pretty, huh? Nice stuff. Now this isn't going to be down here too long. Once the uh, building's built and I get the floor poured, I'm going to pick one corner or one wall in that garage and stack the good stuff. You know what I mean? Like the uh, real nice cherry and the walnut. The ceiling in there is going to be almost 12 feet high. So, I mean, it wouldn't take up a lot of room. Just pick one corner or one wall, like I said, stack and sticker up all the good stuff. Be perfect. I've had uh, several people ask what model this blower is. It's the Steel BGA 85. We use it all the time. Not only down here at the mill, but for, you know, blowing off the deck or the sidewalk or drying the tractors or the cars off after you wash them. Works really well. It's nice and light. You can use it with just one hand. Now, we have the uh, BR800, the big backpack blower. It's up in the garage. And, I mean, that thing is a beast. It's way, way more powerful than this one. But this is the one we use all the time. We just break out that big one when uh, all these leaves start hitting the ground. So all the lumber in this stack right here, I think on the very bottom there is just uh, six pieces of red oak that came from a little red oak tree right up there by the building, and then this uh, walnut here. This whole stack here is going to be lumber that came from trees right around the building, and uh, we will incorporate all this into the building somewhere. I think that will be nice, and it's some pretty nice stuff. That walnut's just beautiful. Oh, and besides the blower... Everybody always asks about these. These are the 3M, they're uh, Bluetooth headphones, AM, FM. Uh, they sync right up with your phone. They work fantastic. I use them at the sawmill, on the tractors. Uh, sometimes, you know, just walking around with them if I'm stacking lumber. And somehow, I can be running the sawmill with these. Somebody can call me. I can answer that call, and they can hear me when I'm talking, and I can hear them. So they work really well. I'll put a link in the description if anybody that has been asking about these wants to get a pair. link will be in the description. All right, before I uh, bring the excavator down, i got a little running around to do. And I think I'll take Hunter with me. Hunter's been doing really, really well, but uh, with everything going on, you know, he can't go many places. So I try to get him out, go for a ride at least once a day doing something. And Melissa keeps him pretty busy. He enjoys doing chores and things. Uh, so we like to keep him busy. So I'll get some uh, windshield washer fluid. I have plenty of pine saw in Dawn. There was a shortage on the pine saw there for a while, but I find a whole bunch of it. I bought a case of the smaller bottles at the dollar store. So we'll be good to go there. All right, I'm going to go get the uh, hunt man. Go for a little ride and I'll report back in a bit. I see Hunter up by the house. He's not putting much pressure on me yet, but... Uh... I like surprising them like this because it's only about 10.30 right now in the morning. So I got a couple things to do and I'll be like, hey, let's go, Hunter. And he gets all excited and uh, we'll head out and about somewhere. What's going on, man? Listen to some music? Mellow yellow? Seriously? Really? Show me again. Wow. Uh, can I get a number four with a medium diet, please? Number four medium with a diet? What else can I get for you? Hunter went with a uh, BK King today. No chicken. What's up with that? All right, I have helper Hunter here. We are going to fill this up for dad. Go ahead and dump that in. That's the pine saw. Go ahead. Good job. Mm -hmm. You like the smell of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna do four jugs of the. Hold on, I gotta stab mm -hmm. it. Mm. 
funny thing, Hunter pours drinks. We always joke he can be a bartender. He is perfect at pouring something into another glass or mixing or pouring. He never overflows. So um, I guess we have to work on this. Good job, Hunter. Good job. All right, there you have it. Job well done. We'll clean this up. All right, I'm back down here now at the uh, makeshift borrow pit. Like I mentioned earlier, I think what I'm going to do real quick here is bale some material from this side over here over to this side here and just make a nice level spot right here that I can maybe put you know 30 tons of topsoil in a stockpile so when I need it I'll have it and when there's no topsoil there will be another parking spot for a trailer or whatever firewood who knows but it's nice to have some spots that are uh, leveled up you know what I'm saying
that's not too shabby there. I got another level spot to work with. And I was thinking when I was in the excavator there, you know what this would really be good for? Good place to park my uh, landscape trailer. I'll touch it up a little bit with the uh, tractor next week sometime and then probably stone it. And yeah, that would be a good parking spot for my uh, landscape trailer. That would work out really well. It's always in the way. So this video is kind of all over the place here today. We started off at the sawmill, uh, sawing some of that nice walnut. Then Hunter and I went and did some running around, made a BK run already. Got a nice spot over there for some topsoil or my landscape trailer. Really haven't decided yet on that. And it's not even noon, so that's pretty good. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. That matters. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks. Mm -hmm.